More breaking news for you this morning, this time coming out of Pembroke Park. There has been a very serious accident there. Witnesses telling Local 10 a car rolled right off of I-95 and the driver was ejected from that vehicle. Samantha Bryant live right now at that scene. She's been there all morning. Talk to witnesses. Apparently they tried to help. What they tell you, Samantha? Well, they told us that they, they heard this loud crash and we want to show you exactly what that crash uh, happened. So when the vehicle was traveling southbound, here is the pole that it actually hit. And we want to show you exactly how far the car traveled. It hit this pole and then it traveled about 50 feet all the way to where you can see a no truck left lane sign. That's about 50 feet away from the initial hit. Now, what we're told is that this crash happened around 3.30 this morning. You can still see it's a very active scene. Still three lanes closed, one lane barely getting by. Here's video of the scene earlier. Now, according to eyewitnesses, the car was headed southbound on I-95 when it hit a light pole and then went rolling off into the ditch. There were three men here that told us that they heard the impact and jumped the gate, ran to the car, but there was no one inside the car. Then they found the driver several feet away with a light pole on top of him. They lifted it off, but they said that he was unresponsive. Take a listen. We saw a light pole go down and heard an impact. There was a car going fast. We sprinted down here and uh, we jumped over the fence. We were in the swale looking for him. Came back over, found him, lifted a light pole off of him. So again, back out live, you can see these delays on I-95 headed southbound. Still three lanes closed, one regular lane barely getting by as well as the express lanes. And you can also see Florida Highway Patrol as well as the Florida Department of Transportation still on the scene investigating this crash. Again, you can see this light pole. We believe that this is a pole that the eyewitnesses say that they lifted off of the man when they found him. Again, now we don't know any information on his condition, but we do know that fire rescue came here and he was transported to an area hospital. As we get more information on his condition, we will bring that to you live. For now, we're live from Pembroke Park. Samantha Bryant, Local 10 News.